Hi everyone, my name is Miss Lisa and we're here at the Fayette County Public Library and you are watching Fun Foods. Today we are going to make some foods with the sweet potato. Sweet potato is so nutritious. It's full of vitamins and minerals that our body needs. So I am going to make a sweet potato hash brown and I'm also going to make a sweet potato appetizer on a Triscuit. So let's start with the hash brown. You need two large or three small sweet potatoes, either one, and you need to shred it. And I did this before the show. I washed these, I peeled most of the skin off, and then I shred it. I actually used both sides, both sizes, because I wasn't sure which size I wanted. Mostly I used that bigger size. So I have the two large sweet potatoes all shredded up in this bowl. I have my oil already hot and ready to go because this is a hash brown so it is going to cook in the skillet over here. All right once you have your sweet potato all um, shredded up you are going to add one half cup of parmesan so we'll just sprinkle that in there and you'll probably want to stir it up as you go. And then we need three eggs. So, sure. How can I crack an egg on the side of a plastic bowl? It doesn't work. All right, maybe we'll go here. All right. So we're going to put our three eggs in with our sweet potatoes. And then stir those up really well so that we can make some hash brown patties. There's also a few spices you're going to want to add. Salt and pepper to your taste. Okay, and then also some parsley. So there, my sweet potatoes mixture is getting pretty well combined. And I'm just gonna take a little, sh uh, little shake of some pepper, just a little shake of salt, and we're going to add some parsley in there as well. Right. And again, it's all to your taste. And then stir it up well. Now, these hash browns need to cook for at least a minute on each side when you put it into your skillet. So, I'm going to go ahead and make a patty here. Okay, I'm going to sort of squish it together. And then we're just going to come over here and put it in the oil. It has been preheated to 350. Not quite hot enough, but that's okay because we're gonna move on and I'll show you how to make the appetizer. So, go ahead and make a pan full of these hash browns. Mmm, I can already sort of smell them. Let's get another one over here. Pack this tight up against the bowl and put another one in here. All right, so you can start to see it bubbling just a little bit. We're gonna let that cook for a, a few minutes while I, at least a minute, and then we'll flip them over. All right, so if you wanna come over here, I'm going to make a little appetizer. For this appetizer, you need Triscuits. You need one can of sweet potatoes, um, just a half a brick of the cream cheese, um, four ounces of it, two tablespoons of um, brown sugar, um, some cinnamon, some nuts, and some marshmallows. So what we're going to do is take our sweet potatoes and put them in the pan. In the bowl, we're going to take our cream cheese. I'm keeping an eye over there on the hash browns. We're going to divide our cream cheese, which is at room temperature, up into little squares here so it's easier to mix together. Okay, I'm going to use my handy dandy little pan mixer and blend them together. All right, it's getting there. It's going everywhere, isn't it? All right, let's get our brown sugar in there. Well, I packed it so tight, it's not gonna wanna come out. There it goes. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and, okay, nice and slow. There we go. All right, 
mixed together. It looks like my hash browns are ready to be flipped. So let's go over here and oh maybe not. It's not holding together real well. Hmm. I guess it wasn't as hot as I thought it was. All right let's just let them cook a little bit longer. All right so we're going to come over here and I've got my sweet potatoes all mixed together. and We're going to want to add some cinnamon in there. So whatever taste, how much cinnamon you like. So this is the sweet potatoes, and cream cheese, and cinnamon. Then you're going to come over here to your Triscuits. Now I'm just using a toaster oven today, but if you want to use your regular oven, you could have a whole box of Triscuits laid out on your cookie sheet. I'm just using this one today, and so we're just going to take this, and we're going to spoon it out over the Triscuits. This may take a while. We're just going to spoon out our whole mixture on top of the Triscuits. Okay. And then we're going to add marshmallows and nuts and then just broil it for two minutes and we have a yummy little appetizer. Okay. I'm starting to hear my hash browns cook a little bit more. It's all right, they need some time on both sides. Okay, a spatula would probably be a good thing here, folks, to spread this mixture out. That's not a spatula. <laughs> um, this will work pretty good, I think. Almost got it spread out. Sometimes cooking is a little messy. All right. So once you have the mixture spread out on your Triscuits, you can see I didn't even use the whole can, but that's okay. You can always make another batch. Sweet potatoes and marshmallows go very well together. So we're going to take these and we are going to spread them on top. Okay. Depend on how many marshmallows you like. Just spread those across the top so we have a yummy marshmallow topping. And then if you're a fan of nuts, you can sprinkle some nuts. I know not everybody likes nuts, so I'll just put a few of them on this side over here. And I have walnuts today. Pecans work just as well. Then we're just going to slide this into our toaster oven. And I am going to put it on broil all the way over there. Okay, and then we're going to time it for about two minutes. And we're just going to watch it until those marshmallows get all brown and gooey. All right, let's see how these have happened. All right, so we're going to flip them over, and they're not real sticking together today, guys. Hmm. Let's try this one, if I can flip it over. Not sure how to do that. Okay. Why is it not hot? That's what I want to know. Because maybe we need to turn it up a little bit more even. Okay, let's try this one. Okay. And then this one. That one held together pretty well. And this one. Oh, not so good. I'm not a very good expert at flipping things over. Doesn't look like they're holding very well together, folks. I don't like that one at all. <laughs> this one's looking pretty good. All right. So, while that is still cooking, we'll come over here and check on our little hors d'oeuvres in our toaster oven. Looks like it's starting to heat up. We will wait on it. So, this is the time when you probably want to clean, okay? You're going to want to take your dishes and put them in the sink. It's always a good idea to clean a little bit up as you go. That way your whole kitchen is not a mess when it's time to eat your food, okay? So, um, I really don't have a sink available to me right here, but I do have a mess everywhere, don't I? Because we've got eggshells, which we can put in the can. 
And we've got our spices that I can put all back together to take back to the cupboard. Our nuts and our marshmallows. Oh, that was a fast two minutes. I do not think it is ready though. It's hot in there, but it's not quite ready. Let's go again. Okay, we need those marshmallows to melt, don't we? Okay, maybe these are ready. Folks, sometimes you know when you cook, things don't always happen exactly like you want them to. All right, that hash brown looks pretty good. That one's definitely falling apart. I don't even know if I want to try to turn these over. <laughs> Let's try this one. Definitely have your grease, your oil preheated, folks, before you dump these in. Okay. Maybe I can stick another one in there for a minute and see what happens to it. It sort of looks like shredded carrots. Okay. We'll stick that right there. Hope that makes a nice, decent hash brown. Now, since this isn't a skillet and it isn't hot oil, you're going to want to be very careful pulling it out of the skillet. You will probably want to have a napkin or a paper towel of some kind to sort of soak up some of that oil before you serve it. So here's my tray that I was hoping to be able to put some gorgeous looking hash browns on. I don't know if that's going to happen today. Let's see. All right. So sometimes it's just a wait and wait and wait and wait and wait for things to get done. Um, I'm going to be checking on my marshmallows. Hmm. Guess they might need a few more minutes than just the, the two. Well, folks, I'm not sure what to do here. Let's see if we can pull out one of these hash browns. I think this was the one that was cooperating the best. Okay. There is one sweet potato hash brown. That one's still sort of runny. This one is pretty well put together. We'll pull it out and you can see on the paper towel how much oil there is coming off of that. So you definitely want to not feed that part to your family. Okay, so there's some other hash brown. They do look good. They do look like they have some brown to them. That's why they're hash browns. <laughs> All right. A few of these still look like they're still cooking. I don't know, folks. Maybe you guys will have better luck at these hash browns than I am. All right. I'm not sure about my marshmallows melting over here either. Toaster oven is not the ideal thing to cook a or hors d'oeuvre or an appetizer in. Um, using this in the oven, I am sure on broil it would have already browned those marshmallows. So when it dings, I'll take it out. We'll take a look at it. I think I may have to go back and put it in the oven. <laughs> All right, let's see what it's doing. Almost done. It's it is quite hot. Like ding, there it goes. All right. Oh, oh, look, it is. Oh, look at that. All right. So once you have that cooked well, you'll just want to take out one of those little triscuits and look at that yumminess. Sweet potato and marshmallow. Oh, and it's nice and melted and nuts. Oh. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my attempt at making some sweet potato hors d'oeuvres or appetizers and a hash brown today. Hope you'll come back and see me again next Tuesday for another fun food.